Well, a guy just found a piece of meteor rock in his backyard, and this tiny meteor ended up growing into a venom-like alien that you see in the Marvel movies. Now in the movies, it's called as the symbiote. Now what we actually know about this alien is that he basically found this very tiny rock in his backyard and he claims that it was part of some sort of a meteor that just fell on his backyard. And this guy named Kin Panama decided to go ahead and make TikTok videos of this thing that he found in the backyard. So the one very weird thing that he started noticing is that when he kept a leaf on top of this tiny rock, for some very weird reason, it seems like the leaf just started burning out of nowhere. As though there is a massive amount of heat that's being produced inside of this rock, but then if he touches it, there was no sort of heat signal or whatever. But if you place any other objects like a leaf it would actually end up burnt and this right here is the footage of what it actually looks like and as you can see the leaf is completely getting burned down and this is basically what was happening when he placed that on top of this thing and over time he just noticed that there is some sort of uh, alien like creature like a tentacles that just started overgrowing out of this rock and it started moving and this was one of the biggest things entire internet was really confused about and over time as he just kept that tiny rock secured he figured out that this whole thing just grew into something this massive and as you can see, this is the tiny rock right here. And this thing just literally grew so big. I think I should take a look at this video as well. I just woke up and I've been in a rabbit hole for this. Have you guys seen this? So apparently there's a guy, I think in Panama, that found a meteorite that hit his backyard. And he has it all documented in his account, mm -hmm. uh, Ken Panama. But he found a meteorite. And then it's he's been growing it. I guess something hatched out of it. Let me show you. So I'm only showing you screenshots, but his account is right here. I'll put it right here so everyone can go. And I guess right now, like everyone has been like being up to date to with his progress. And this has only been going on for like five days. But look at this. Like it, it eventually hatched mm -hmm. from from the egg, like from the rock, literally. And he's been just keeping it as a pet. And hold on look look to what it has grown it pulsates like Damn. he literally has so it basically just puts that into a very tiny locker and he just keeps it for like an entire 15 days and then he opens it up and he notices that the tiny thing that just grew out of that tiny rock ended up growing to, into such a big whatever kind of weird venom like you know symbiote alien this is everything on video and it's even it's even been getting crazier because mm -hmm. he's been like this little thing has been shedding and he's been get, putting little parts that it sheds into vials and sending it to people who've been asking to like test it so he's been sending it all around the world just to for mm -hmm. people to test it oh so he's <laughs> sending it out look at this well, you can't make this shit up you really can't and and like it's it sounds like it's something like uh, uh, Latin is from Latin America but the thing is like now so many people are like well this has to be from a movie like it, it, it's it looks real crazy if this is from a marketing ad they're doing a fantastic job but I highly doubt it's crazy and but let me just but show marketing you ad for what exactly. exactly. so as you can see it actually starts breathing man like literally breathing look at that stuff it's mowing on its own that's insane. Okay, I stand corrected. He's had this for like 15 days. Mm -hmm. and, but it's still insane because if this is not a really well ad marketing for whatever movie this is going to come up, we're cooked. We're fried. Exactly, man. Someone who refuses to <laughs> give it to authorities in the big 2025, he's keeping it as a pet. But he's also freaked out because he doesn't know what to do because it's growing so fast. Man, a big shout out to John Cortese for actually making this video and giving us the whole information. But I've actually got like a full video for you guys to take a look at what this um, alien kind of creature basically does. It, it kind of just breathes and he just put this inside a locker. Unfortunately, we don't have like very good lighting. Look at that stuff. So anytime it sees a light, it kind of just reacts. It, it starts moving and it's also breathing. And that's just so weird. That's super weird, to be honest. 
And it seems like it just keeps growing over time exponentially, and it's grown so big that he just ran out of space in order to like keep it inside of his house, and it's also breathing. That's the craziest part. It looks very greasy though. And apparently he started collecting like very tiny samples and putting that into bottles and sending it over to his followers from TikTok who really wanted to go ahead and test this thing out and see that maybe if that very tiny particle that he's sending over could also end up growing into another whole alien substance. And it seems like one of the particles was also found in Las Vegas, this right here. It looks so, so close to what the Venom looks like in the movie. Look at that stuff. It looks like liquid, but then it has some weird kind of, you know, tentacles. And this was found right underneath the Las Vegas sign. Someone just threw it or whatever. We don't know. It's just basically spreading all over the world. And take a look at this. The man who discovered the alleged alien symbiote from the Panama meteorite has decided to release it. And many believe it's due to mounting pressure. So apparently he's very scared at this point that, you know, the officials might come in, people that he doesn't want to be visiting him might eventually come in. So he decides to go to this abandoned place inside of a forest and he wanted to basically kill it in the first place, but then he decides that the best thing to do is to just simply leave it in a water. Like in this abandoned building, there's like this building is supposedly just completely droned out. It's flooded for whatever reason. It actually looks like some sort of a bunker, which is like completely flooded out. And he decides to go ahead and leave the symbiote inside the water over here. And I think you guys should really look at what this thing does. Look at that as he drops it in. And this thing actually starts moving and swimming. And the best part of all is that as soon as he drops it in the water, apparently it starts swimming. And look at this stuff. This is basically what it looks like. And it's currently swimming. And this is not AI generator or whatever. He has been recording this whole thing. And he's been documenting this whole thing. He's been posting videos of how he found it, how it started growing. And also he is currently just dropped it in this particular reserver. And nobody knows what that is, some sort of an abandoned um, scientific lab or research center that was like completely abandoned for a very long time. And now it just seems like the, the creature is the still alive. Movement on this is eerie. It reminds me of an angel fish. It reminds me of the devil finger fungus. Damn. These names of the things that it reminds me of. In so this is where he goes to? Found in Mexico and some of the illustrations that we found in Mexico mm -hmm. and then <laughs> the movies and the amount of sci-fi written about this type of stuff fits right in with our alien agenda and the disclosure movement being a shill to actually make us think that aliens are something different than what they are that they're ETs and not ancient demons or beings that roamed the earth or that created things on the earth or that tormented this things some on sort the of earth. An I mean, there's a lot of different hatches. possibilities of what this ancient class of beings are. But seeing what we've seen and seeing the Egyptian and Mesopotamian influence, let alone the Indian and Hindu, you, you have to take it into account that mm -hmm. what we're seeing here is potentially... You know, even if it's a 1%, potentially something of, of biblical proportion. The TikToker Ken Panama took his K-25 and put it into a abandoned... Look at that stuff. So he basically just put like different parts of those aliens and put it inside like these tiny pods. Reservoir. The whales. He came back to the place a couple of days later mm -hmm. where he had been storing it. And mm -hmm. some of the samples that were very small, that had no movement, clearly have movements now. Mm. So he has abandoned this, and other TikTokers now have found where it is, and I've actually gone and posted pictures in the water with it, and pictures of it swimming, as you saw here at the beginning of this video. We're going to keep eyes on this for sure. I really don't know what to say. I'm still a skeptic, but it needs to be looked at. The fact no media or any news will say that this is fake. That's that's is crazy. At best. Till next time.
So apparently he just gave the location of where he dropped this alien inside the water. And a lot of people, a lot of TikTokers, they decided to go ahead and visit this place. And they found out that the alien that he dropped is still right there and it's grown like massive in size. So he decided that maybe, you know, if he drowns that thing, it's gonna end up dead because it was breathing, of course. So he thought that maybe it's breathing oxygen so that if I just put it inside the water, it's probably gonna end up dead. But turns out that after he put that into the water, it just grew even bigger. And now it's able to swim and other TikTokers, they basically went there and found this uh, location and they started filming this stuff and they were just showing us that it's still alive and it's basically spreading and it's growing bigger and bigger in size and we don't know what it's gonna do once it just takes over and if all the tentacles just get splits up and it starts, you know, infecting all the different places, which I really hope it doesn't happen, but if this is indeed at the end of the day, true or real, and if it's not some sort of a marketing stunt for the upcoming Wenham movie, then I think we are very much in trouble. And I don't know for whatever reason, the media is not covering this stuff. But what's interesting is that the Panama government has now officially brought in a new statement. The official Panama government statement says that the area of the Wenham-like alien is currently off limits and the whole story is fake and we punish any trespassers who are gonna go to this location. And this right here is like the note that they've just given apparently let me just translate it to english and i will tell you guys dear friends of the metropolitan natural park in recent days information has been circulating on social media particularly on tiktok accounts of the user named kin panama who's featuring videos claiming that a fall of meteor and the release of an alleged alien in the area of a bunker 1002 known as the el castillo within the metropolitan natural park now it is also observed that the content creator is entering a restricted area and is releasing what he presents as an alien creature now we wish to clarify categorically that this information is completely false and there is no extraterrestrial creatures or events of this type in Metropolitan Natural Park. Now the area of Bunker 1002 is a restricted access zone and remains closed to the public and any unauthorized entry violates the rule of Metropolitan Natural Park and may be subject to sanction by the competent authorities. Now they also said that the alien or the content is currently being disseminated corresponding solely to the fictional narrative that was created by the user and does not represent any real facts. Now we call for calm and ask community not to be swayed by any rumors or unverified information on the social media and we also urge content creators to act responsibly and not put their safety or that of the park staffs by entering restricted areas or disseminating misleading materials and it seems like the government now says that if anybody goes to this location they're going to be taking actions in order to protect the law and order because it's some sort of a restricted zone that people are not supposed to enter now i don't know for whatever reason if this was some sort of a restricted zone it would definitely not be abandoned at this point. And it seems like now that he has just released this alien kind of creature into this place, a lot of content creators started going in there and they started filming this stuff. And now the government starts getting involved and they now say that it's not real, it's all fake, it's just made up story, don't believe it. And if at all, if this is all just a made up story, why would the government just imply that this location is a restricted zone and nobody's supposed to enter it, even though it's completely abandoned and as you can see the whole place is like fully flooded out and that's the reason the dude just you know in the first place decided to go ahead and let the alien out in such a place but now the government out of nowhere they decide to go ahead and imply a new law stating that nobody is supposed to be entering the zone and it's going to be a restricted zone if it's all just fake what's even there to hide in there because it's already an abandoned place so why is nobody allowed to go in there anymore is the one big question that people are really concerned about because at the end of the day we obviously know that the government they're just always the type of guys that really don't want to give us the full truth and they always try to you know hide things from public they try to just make it seem like there is absolutely nothing going wrong even though we have some solid video proofs and all that stuff and at the same time i really went on and did some of my own research 
And a lot of things that the government is currently stating is that this could possibly be some sort of a chemical reaction where the government claims that the TikToker might have used some sort of a chemical substance named the PDMS, which is apparently turning this jelly-like tentacle kind of a creature into making it look like it's actually breathing. But then they claim that it's just some sort of a gimmick that is being done using some sort of a chemical reaction, which is why it's probably doing this stuff. Now, honestly, I don't know whatever this stuff is. If it's not some sort of a movie stunt or if it's not some sort of a promotion, I think we are in greater trouble because this thing looks very nasty, to be honest. And if at all, this ends up spreading big. And if it spreads huge, then it's definitely going to be a massive apocalypse. This could be the aliens that, you know, people are talking about. It could be some sort of a biological creature that we've never known about before. It could be any sort of things. But what's really interesting about this whole takeaway is that the government doesn't want us to go to that location anymore. And they don't want us to go ahead and take a look at this stuff. And also, like I said, we also had another footage where it seems like the alien is completely moving. It looks very much like the Venom from from the Marvel movies, where if you just place your hand on it, it's just gonna absorb your whole body and take you as a host. And like the movies, maybe you turn into Venom, we never know. But I don't think anyone would actually dare go ahead and touch this stuff because nobody knows what the hell it is. So honestly, I would love to hear from you guys. What do you personally think about everything that's going on? Do you actually believe that this is some sort of an alien or maybe this is some sort of a chemical reaction that you know people are just using in order to just make a fool around on the internet? I really wanna know what you you guys personally think let me know your thoughts down below in the comments share this video with as many people as you possibly can so that people can basically get to know about what's really going on in the world that we don't really get to see in the mainstream media so your support in order to share this video is going to be a big help to let a lot of people know about the thing that happens around the world every single day that i'm going to be covering right here on this channel with that being said i'm going to keep you guys updated on what the situation of this whole meteorite alien thing is if any sort of update comes up and if you get to know what this whole stuff is i will definitely Definitely keep you guys in the loop. So make sure to go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notifications on so you don't miss out on the future uploads. And with that being said, if you guys are going and enjoy this podcast, please just make sure to go ahead, drop a big fat like on this podcast. It really goes a long way. It helps out the channel a lot more than you guys think. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Till then, take it easy, fams, and goodbye.